Hey everybody, I got a little project going on here. I take online art classes and the girls that put these classes on generally use watercolors. And the other day Kathleen did a live art class on pouring watercolors. And I started thinking about something, a, a, a different kind of an idea. I suggested taking school glue, just plain old white school glue, and dried up old broken up watercolors and making a pour paint out of them, which I just poured, it's okay. Anyway, I had a old, hard, dried up watercolor set. I decided, well, let's see what would happen. I couldn't get the watercolors out, so I cut them apart and put them in these little cups, soaked them in some water, and let all the paint dissolve off of the plastic, removed it, let it evaporate and then I uh, added the glue to it and uh, it's a little waterier as you can tell than regular glue but we're going to do a pour painting with this but I'm going to do it a little differently this is one of my 8 inch ceramic tiles this is a like I don't 8 by 10 uh, canvas I'm going to take and start pouring onto the tile and see what happens okay there's one color we're just going to spread the colors around randomly and let them run I think we're going to go with a little more of this peachy orangey color the drips will not matter with what we're doing and we're going to see what happens here. And I've got these plastic trays I like using. And they catch a lot of my drips and runs. It's going to be a little different than most of what I've done in the past as you can see it's a uh, it's kind of weird and all of those drips and the mergers of colors I think are going to be very interesting I've got a towel down because it's cold outside and I decided to take over the kitchen now this is a one shot deal here obviously so if this doesn't film very well no one's ever gonna see it <laughs> okay and now let's go with the yellow okay and now I'm going to let that sit in the tray. I'm going to go ahead and start pouring onto this canvas. We're going to do something a little different with it. Okay, uh, we got quite a bit of the red on the other one. Uh, some more blue here. And we'll just let it run off the edges. I don't know what I'm going to get here. I'm pretty much just playing with an idea. There was purple in that corner. Okay. We're going to save the black for last because it's pretty overpowering. 
and like I said, this is a lot thinner than the glue because of the water from the watercolors. Whenever I made them, it sat for a day, and I did have to restir all of the different uh, colors back into the glue. Evidently, it's a bit heavier, the pigment is, than the actual glue once it's watered down. I think this is going to be cool. The canvas, I'm just going to let sit here and dry. Okay. <clears throat> and now a little bit of black here and there. We don't want too much at any one point. And you notice I'm not even worried about covering all of the surface. Uh, I think it's kind of cool that it, uh, when it dries, it adds a little bit of texture to the tiles. Okay, that's enough of that. Now, what I've got is glitter. Wipe my hands off, they're a little sticky. You can see this is all kind of running together. I'll pick the camera up here in a minute, but uh, I'm going to sprinkle a little glitter over the surfaces. I've got four colors here right now. That was the blue. Now we got purple. Glitter is weird when you photograph it. Sometimes it will totally hide the underlying picture or painting if you use a flash and a little bit of red these are uh, plastic pastry clamshells that I recycle I don't think I need to swirl it too much I really like how this one's looking whenever they dry I believe they're going to be really, really interesting. Now, they have to sit level and flat. Well, I guess that's the same thing. Uh, they have to sit level until they dry. Otherwise, everything just runs off one side. Anyway, glue. Where is it at? Glue, watercolor paints, glitter. I think it's going to be pretty cool.